got it. So we are back, Romance in Grenada, Caracom, Petit Martinique with Mr. Trevor Modest, Mr. Eugene Liquish, Mr. Livingston Nelson, and Mr. Morrison. Duxy? <laughs> yeah, Duxy. I'm having problems spelling that. And yeah. I consider them the god sons of Mr. Modest because that's based on what they tell me, the experiences with him and so on. And live and we're with Milton, he's one of his dear friends. And Milton is about to tell us about uh, the relationship and Mr. Modest say let loose. So Milton, Milton, the floor is yours. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I also um, I also developed a relationship with um, Trevor uh, over the years, being a journalist uh, in the days when Pi and myself, Kala and Noel, and all the other guys, and Trevor used to be around. <laughs> I remember him, you know. Uh, but Trevor is, Trevor is a boy to you. He's a young, young child, a young, a young man to you, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, uh, when I heard Trevor said that he went to SAS in 1975, in fact, <laughs> It was that same year I, I left to go to school in Trinidad, um, <laughs> you know, to study. So um, yeah, I was I didn't at the time. So um, I I knew him, you know, in those terms as an officer one, and uh, of course as a friend. We used to lime around together on back there. Um, mm, ABC, lime. ABC, ABC photo studio. Um, we, we we used to be at, and we had some fun days from many days I. I remember him apart from there, uh, you know, different activities being in force. But, you know, I, in recent times, and I've, I've, I've always, I've continued to study things, to check out things and to research things. That's what I do now because that's my pastime. Um, Trevor, I wanted to ask Trevor this question because it was very important. And why, to me, it was important? Because it involved Carico. Um, I, I saw, uh, uh, I interviewed Trevor Dean with um, Michael Bascom, um, uh, Greener Sports, Talking Sports. And I heard Trevor said that, I heard Trevor made a comment, and I want to ask him about, about this comment, and I'll quote him. <clears throat> while in Kariko, huh? I'm, I'm preempting it here, while in Kariko, um, he, had an, he had this ex experience, and he might want to tell us. Quote, anytime politicians utilize national events to make themselves look good, you are destroying the country and destroying athletes and destroying people. Um, and Trevor, that was a very powerful statement. I mean, I, I single it out because it will live with you forever. I mean, because I think in each era, in each time, this is, in my view, something that we need to, to pay attention to. When politics get involved in sports, um, and I sense that you have um, been able to uh, separate those two. Not, not only sports, but politics and whatever career you, you're doing. Um, so Trevor, the question is, having said that, do you think there was a perception in your time, in Lucretius' time and um, those times, there was a perception that politics was involved in sports then as politics is involved in sports now. Uh, you lived through it. And now you are saying at this, uh, at this stage, after you would have retired, per se, saying anytime any po politician want to get involved in, 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 in national events and make it and, make, and use it to, to make themselves look good. Destroying yourself, destroying the country, and destroying the athletes. Do you still feel so, um, Trevor? Uh, let me, you have to put these things into perspective. Eh? And let me just say for one, as an athlete, when I was in SAS, the politics that was being played is a strong and country politics. And they have and they have not politics. Now, when you're talking about political parties or political politics, now that's a different issue. And I will still stand by it. 
I didn't know at that when I was in SAS, I did not know if there was any political politics being played, that, that were, party politics being played in regards to sport. But when I became a macho person, as a police officer, after training in Cuba, training to be a police officer, and understanding politics, because you are taught political science also when you are in Cuba. And I start looking at things. I recognize that every outstanding person in Grenada used to be involved in sport. And every smart politician in Grenada utilized sportsmen and sporting activity to gain a foothold. This is bad. I am not involved in no politics. Don't ever ask me to run for politics. Don't ever ask me to be involved in politics. I'm a patriot. I'm a Grenadian. And I look in terms of seeing our people develop and grow. If a politician is thinking like me and is using his energies to deep, like Peter Blair in Greenfield. Yes. Peter, can I even play, I'll tell him that. You can't even pitch a marble, but you want to manage things. And Peter was there from day one. He don't involve, he didn't, he, I don't know if he's involved in politics now, but he wasn't involved in politics. He was doing it because of the love of human being and the love of people. The community. You, you understand? And if you're not going to be involved in sports like that, then it don't make sense. The, if you look at sport as to develop discipline and develop motivation and drive to get your people to carry on as how they carry on out in sports, don't, don't get involved. Because what you're going to do is as soon as you achieve what you are achieving, that you want to achieve, you leave a drain, an empty space. And then the athletes, the sportsmen become frustrated and angry and aggravated. And I've seen it. But Trevor, can I interject here? For example, um, we didn't, before the 70s, we didn't have a Ministry of Sports. And I think a distinction has to no, be... No, man, we, we had a Ministry of Sports. Yeah. Not sports. Oh, probably in the 60s it came in, but Grenada was the first island to have a minister of sports and a ministry of sports and new development. So there has to be a level of politics in it, but in using, using no, 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 no. That's, that's a different, that's a different concept. Okay. That is regards to managing from a governmental level. All right. Not any nitty gritty. Okay. Like for example, you know, Livingston is an outstanding sportsman in Tivoli. Mm-hmm. And you give Livingston funds to organize a sports team and you're out there and you're encouraging him and you, you're going like, you're the champion and, and whatnot. But when you win, you're gone. Leave Livingston empty and leave the other athletes empty. Right. That's bad, man. We can't, we can't do that. So no I am telling you, it hurt me. I felt like a, a, a dream, emptiness. Mm -hmm. When those things happen, for when you see your outstanding sporting teams, you remember Success Sports Club, Eugene? Yeah, <laughs> Success, the girls build Shaka. Oh, God, yeah. man. And when the political influence go and Shaka is gone, and not Shaka, but Shaka's um, brother in law. Yeah, Ed. Ed, when Ed gone, everything Ed. dead. Everything went straight to you. Yes. So you have to have things that would survive. Utilize the a people. sustainable program. Right. Utilize the community. Right. Get them to do it. If you have to get outstanding athletes to spearhead it, get them to do it. Okay. I went to Carico issue. Yeah. Yeah. It's big and bold. I've been to Carico. Carico is not, I'm not a kayak. Yes, I have family in Carico. <laughs> but Carico is being used as as if they're not part of Grenada. If we were not a program, I would have said something out of the way, but let me tell you something. <laughs> I went to Carico 
as a police officer. Students came to me, begged me to come out and, 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 and coach, and went and coach. Get athletes from Kariku. The academics went up. The sporting ability went up. Mm -hmm. And journalists were saying, the people answering, the athletes answering questions when placed to them, the most outstanding were coming from Kariku. Why is it the same thing and coming up from the Thomas, GBSS and PBC, they didn't say SARS. GBSS and PBC. Why it was not like that? I learned something when I was in, in, in um, when I went character games the first time. And then I departed on to people in SARS. When you have this impure, impromptu speech, come tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about your training. And they have to tell me. You practice that all the time. And when you practice those things, you get to that level. So in Carico, Carico is looked as you, that's the, the, the son from your aunt and the daughter from your aunt in Carico. They pay attention to sports uh, and the student's development in Carico. And I saw that I went out and started doing what I have to do. That's very good. And yeah. getting athletes to be out there, up there. When you have an athlete coming second to Walcott, I coach him. And then you have other athletes who throw javelin, winning gold medal. And they are from Karaku, they won character games. And Ministry of Sport and the persons in it and the people in Karaku and make an effort to help develop them to reach further. It hurts, man. It does hurt, it does hurt, especially in the Karaku Pitimatnik situation. As you say, they're like the aunt's child. I say it's like the child your father had the outside child um, that you don't want to talk to. An outside child getting better treatment than that. <laughs> because on yeah. Christmas time, the father does give him something and the, <laughs> and the stepmother does pass something for him. Nothing is being passed to, to Karaku. No. Karaku has wait, 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 let me go back to living standard now. When I was in SAS and I was doing things, I said, when I leave SAS, what will happen? And I was proud of Livingston. Yeah. When I tell you, pro real proud. I used to think it was me when Livingston doing his stupidness. I say stupidness, <laughs> but when you, you understand, Livingston bring John Coy, bring this, he bring that. What? Let me tell you something. Actually, you guys look alike. We did things in SAS. <laughs> and as closest <laughs> to my heart up to today. I think I had friends and things, but young fellas, Livingston Nelson was there. Eugene Nickwich was there. Stafford John was there. Yeah. Stefan was there. Those are fellas that, you know, they were like my brothers. When I tell you, if they had hurt them, mine hurt me. If Livingston get in trouble, it's like if it's I get in trouble. If when Eugene got, was sick once and I can't find him. Who called? I, I do everything I could. Get New York City police to look for a man, every damn thing. Because they are very, very close to me. Mawson, very, very close to me. You understand? It's not a joke close. I know. But I want to say something. Make an interjection here, Sinian. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe just slightly changing what Trevor is saying. <laughs> um, one of the, because that's what I was saying, maybe a, a wrong that was done. You see, Trevor mentioned about the politics and how um, politicians, I think the operative term there is that when you use quotes to glorify or to draw attention to yourself. To me, that is the yeah, operative yeah. thing. I think that's so. What it was. That's what it was. That, that is it. Like what just Trevor, like support Trevor. You see talent in the community. You have people like the, 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 the as I said, they would have somebody like like the um, you know, I would still say like somebody like the Wayne Maxine, Maxine. Or you have somebody like the body chess. They just want to see children on football. They just want to see, and they just want to promote that. 
that attitude coming from somebody, um, our, our minister of sport or the ministry of sport is what we need. Point black. We have enough feedback. Yes. Uh, what, yeah. What I what I what I found out in terms of what happened to us in early days, the tongue and the country, this whole ideology, this whole um facet, this whole ideology, this whole attitude, it really stifle the talent like people like Eugene Liquish, myself, but in particularly Trevor. Now, maybe I will start with Eugene. I'll leave it myself. Eugene, I and, 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 and I, I would I would praise you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene and I were competitors. Now I was a kind of rough athlete, but when you see Eugene run, Eugene was like like smooth, like where Eugene, Eugene gone? No, he's <laughs> right. Unmute yourself, Eugene. No, 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 it's okay. I've seen him. Once he's there. Eugene was, I mean, so, to some people, Eugene was like the ballerina. <laughs> on his, his, his okay. feet. <laughs> and, yeah, he was just, just graceful. You know, I was rough strength and energy. Me and Tre Trevor and I used to compete to show ties and who have, um, um, who, who have six That's pack and seven. Yeah, you yeah. remember Trevor? Yes, competing uh... Because I was junior. Our sub junior and Trevor was senior, but yet we, we look so much alike in terms of bodybuilding. So, um, but I am saying that people like Eugene, you Likwish, should not have been where he is right now. Now, I don't want us to reminisce and go back because he's what is pill mill, but because of the system, then they didn't tap the talent because we were extremely talented. Eugene could have, have gone in a decathlon in any part of the world and become successful and win. Eugene, with, with the right training and connection to that, could have done the same. But again, so that was Eugene. So I, let us say I've given Eugene a 70-75% chance of making it. Trevor had a skill um, in, in particularly in the javelin and Trevor could have competed while in SAS almost on the world stage. Trevor didn't get that push. And you know who brought that really to my attention was one day I was talking to Judge Gotti Robinson. And he said he believed the person in sports that was most unfairly treated as far as he's concerned is Trevor Modest. Because Trevor Modest had a talent that was way above. Now we had to constantly harness our own. Trevor he seemed like was born with that. But he, he didn't get the push. He didn't get the, the chance. Not because there was not an opening, not because there was not a chance for him to make it, but because of the system at that time would not reward talent. And I believe Trevor was punished because of his geographical location. And um, they say me that that did not just happen in sports for Trevor, but it, it transcend into his other career. Job, you yeah. in an organization and you um you you heard he had to take a loan and I mean what I mean you, you tell me he did that as a secret that he was doing that as a secret that even when he reached there he had this ambition to go to a university and even when he reached that level you're telling me the system could not have, have taken him and say okay we're going to further you because there were opportunities for persons like he to go forward so I, I think we have to look at it like we were there, we blazed the trail, we were good, we were great in our time. But the odds must not be so stuck up against other persons with talent that they are, you know, they, they, they simmer down, they get lost in the system. They can, you know, somebody with such a great skill. If Trevor did not have that personal ambition and that drive, you know, it could have been anyway. Anywhere in Greenfield selling orange and not mango, some I almond mean, or, 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 or Irish and Irish potato and thing on the street just for survival. Why? But Grenada, Grenada should have been having a big, some big name on our wall with some big street could have been named after him. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the upcoming generation should not have been suffering in a fit. I, I would um, applaud. What you're saying, and I'll also add to that, if even now, to be honest, the 
talents of all the, the past athletes they had to struggle to make it. And I think that's where the politicians can come in, in that you can put um, people at the administration. I know we have, a few, but we can do much, much, much more. Some knowing the vast, the results we have in court. Somebody's moving about so, and causing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moving. It's not so much a politician, because I think, let us not say politician, but the Ministry of Ministers of Sports. Yes. So we, we kind of call it. Sorry, uh, yeah. because that is the way forward we should go. Sports, Ministry of Sports, yes. Right. I, I truly believe we can, because I know there are some small countries that focus on exporting a particular kind of talent. I, I heard and, Diana has programs like that now, where they're developing, like, let's say, soccer referees and stuff. Yeah. The but, problem but, is just focus around making soccer. So we can focus around making athletic coaches where we can harness even, you know, the 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 talent of you guys who still not, but, young and active. But but let us let us let us see. I, I, at that time when we were reading, mm -hmm. we, we were good. We for a matter of fact, I think we were very good. Yes. <laughs> we have not moved, Trevor. Sports. Although we got Kirani and we had Alan Franzik, but as a nation, we, you you would remember Trevor or Eugene that we were able at that time we could have gone down in GBS in Tong and with ten athletes and win in the I'm not boasting. Three. Today. Three three athletes. Three, three athletes one. because in 1980, my points, the senior the senior only sen the senior could have won intercall the junior and the sub junior. And in the only the field events in the senior athletes division could have won intercall. Yes, yeah. But 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 my point is that we have not moved much. Well, we let, me, let me let me let me let me let me go on, on, on that aspect there now. You because you spoke about Alan Francis. I continue competing until I was 40 years. And the reason I, 40? yeah, 40 years. 40. And the, 40, 4 zero. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I continued, because there was no replacement. And when I decided to stop, it was because Alain got a scholarship. And not just because I, that was my last year in sports. We went to Puerto Rico and a fella come across. He said, you're not Trevor Morris from Grenada. I say, yes. You still throwing javelin? <laughs> I say, yes. <laughs> He said, man, Trevor, give them young fellas a chance. I said, well, they can't beat me. <laughs> and then I recognized there's a partner who won. I was throwing more than him, but it just happened that he won in character games that year when I was there. He was from the Bahamas. And we started chatting. And I said, well, we have some athletes there, man, real outstanding athletes. But we can't get scholarship. And he explained to me. He said, man, you got to get the coaches. You got to get the agents to come and visit Grenada. I said, well, we are going to see them. He said, come, I'll set you up, man. Intercall in SARS took place at the um, at Tantin that year. And they had, the, the coaches left Tantin. They, they left the country to go to Trinidad. But they came to Grenada first. They didn't go to Trinidad again. Because what they saw happening in Grenada, Danda Rat, God no word, was one of the fellas who housed them in his home. We couldn't pay for them. Men say they're going into, after intercall, they're going in Trinidad. After intercall, they ain't even going nowhere to stay because they like the food, they like the lime all over. We did not have money to pay to house them. So it is, if you have a job, you have to know your authority. You have to know where your, your strength and the laws governing you, where you come from. And most of all, you have to know what your job entails. If you, you don't to know, to know how to use what you have. Right. So if you don't know what the job entails, when you're going to develop athletes to reach it next stage. But you don't get scholarships. You don't have no contact with people outside there. 
How are you going to get scholarship for your people? You don't have contacts. Okay. It's sports is an Ministry of Education. Here, yeah, the Ministry of Education don't have no contact with universities outside there from a sporting yeah. aspect. How are you going to get them? If I was not there to speak to these fellas, and then the next year, character games, the world go wrong. N not the next year, two years after character games, the world go wrong. What's his season name again? You had the world record, Borel, and all them fellas cup. I mean, you, man, you still want to participate in sports? Come on. <laughs> you, you, you understand? So tell me who are the administrators that are there in sports? That know about those things. If you go to to we ex we did it, right? So nobody can say that we didn't do it. If you go to run for office in the Athletics Federation and you won, then you'll be pressured. Since you're out of St. George's Wood, you will be pressured and you can't walk. So I still have. You cannot walk if you are administrator. If you're administrating it, you can't walk. <laughs> wow. They'll kill you. Devon was. Devon was. Devon get old before his time. Yes. <laughs> and you know you you understand what I say? I'm not getting involved in politics. So what's I'm not. Why, why? 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 How does that benefit Grenada? What? It yeah, benefit uh, Grenada. It benefits the people who want to travel, who want to go outside, there, who want to hold the free money, who want to get the easy monies. Oh, let me go back. No, so I have let, me, let me let me go back to Eugene and 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 um and Godfrey. When I saw that Eugene would run from eight hundred, Eugene had the eight hundred meters record in Sassena. He had it, yeah. Really, <laughs> Eugene, Eugene Livingston me, would run me, from 800 me. To, to one, do all the shows and all the jumps. I mean, I could do it, but they were better than me, they were way, way better than me in, 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 in the jumps. And in the I can't finish the 400 gold, but I could finish the eight and I could finish the 15, but I couldn't finish the 400 gold, I will, I'll be dying. But we were there, and if we had the people with the interest and the knowledge of how to bring us to that level, we would have been there. I was given scholarship in Germany from uh, to go to Germany. I think Eugene had the opportunity to, but we never go. I got monies, monies are sent to me to prepare me to go to Germany, and they never finish doing what they're supposed to do. Come on. That's the level. Okay. So I, yeah. Listen, a girl got killed, a school girl got killed. I decided, look, I you know, have to be a police officer, have to be a forensic scientist so that I can change things because we don't have a forensic scientist in Grenada. So I can go outside it and solve those cases. I did that. Bravo. I didn't get help. I push for myself to get there. I retired. There are cases now in Grenada, and people are calling, Mr. Morris, we ain't going to solve the case. We're going to help them. It's like if I'm not there. <laughs> they send the case, some cases, they send it to trainer to my partner, the forensic pathologist. He will send it back to me. I look at it, give him a feedback on it, and then they send it to back. He sent it back to them. When they pay him, he will say, okay, Morris, I'll give you that from him. And that's what goes on. They will never call me. I am the only person that will solve. Maybe you have to start a school of forensic, a private school, and then hire them out. No. Perhaps that's what I have to do. <laughs> but let's, and let's, it's, it's only Trevor, all those things. Uh, uh, Trevor, weren't you the only finger, um, finger print? print. Shoe print, yeah. the only shoe print, um, identity, shoe print identification case that was done. And I do a lot. I can't remember how much it all. But I'm the only person who have done shoe print identification in the Caribbean at that time. So it might not. And the first DNA that was done in the Caribbean, even though we did not have the first conviction, but the first DNA that was done 
was done in Grenada, and I was the lead investigator in that case. It was done through us. It was as we were assisted by the FBI. So my track record in policing is second to none. That's not a, a bull something. It's it's a fact. It's, it's a fact. You can you um the Lois case and that you will charge somebody for is using obscene language or beating under the standpipe. I'm the only person in Grenada who charged a man for beating under the standpipe. And yet, <laughs> nobody else in Grenada has ever done that. I, just, I didn't know <laughs> that was a law. Of course. Nobody <laughs> did it. You know what I did that? That's never both in the No. Yes, but oh. you see, it's sports. You see, the, that discipline, that drive, that commitment to do what you're supposed to do. You only develop it when you're young and you're involved in sport. And that's the type of, that's the character of the people that you want to run your country, to develop your country. That's the type of citizenry that you need. Absolutely. We have to be more aware for civic duty. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I am I'm amazed now about this law, about this standpipe, because I'm, I'm, a lot of people could have got in trouble. <laughs> in of course. Life. You know, the police won't charge you for bathing under the standpipe. Right. But if you're bathing under the standpipe, and now some people oh, come, they want to... Public. Come, now some people come now, and they want to do their job. They want to sanitize the pipe heads and whatnot. And you're cursing them and telling them you're beating and you're, you can't do that. <laughs> Out of place. <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I arrested him. Go to the river. <laughs> no, I mean, go to the river, but we have respect for the man walking in Nawasa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and everybody in Nawasa, like me, have respect for me. The men who used to be dropping water and the truck, that, that spread. Every garbage collector, every scavenger in town, no Trevor Morris. Well, I've heard your name a million times, and I've heard your name in association with class, with sports, with discipline. The guys that went to the OECS games with you said they were so happy to have you and Eugene there because you stood for discipline. I don't know where the coach was, but you had them in line. And it's a good thing. Now, I look, just... up to today, up to today, look at Eugene's dress. Look at Mawson. Look at Livingston. You see how Livingston come? <laughs> I jester with them things and I tell Liv Liv Livingston, you're dressing properly. Come on, you have to dress. But you have to dress nice, you know, man. Dress nice. <laughs> and Livingston continue with that up to today. You understand? That is the level we were at, but we had a principal that was. No, he was uh, he was exceptional. Yeah, man. Exceptional. When Cressy don't want to tell a young fella something. He felt that he shouldn't tell him. Hey, James, come here. Come. You speak to this young man there. So what? You can see. Huh? Are you blind? Go speak to him and his condition. And, his, and then I have to look and see what the fella is doing wrong and go speak <laughs> to him. That's what we were in SAS. I, I, I heard so many things about Percy. It was... Everybody loved him. Everybody still respected and feared him. And I heard stories from Cindy Simone's days with um, um, Martin Chateau and those guys. And coming right back to these young fellows now, when just before he retired, you know, there. And one guy gave me a joke and he said, um, Chrissy also sometimes didn't confront you. No. He was trying to leave school and he said he just heard Chrissy's voice saying, and Mrs. Lott turned back and turned the pillar salt. So he walked backwards, back to school. <laughs> and another thing Cressy would do when he's disciplining you, in assembly, that old man, that dirty shoe old man, that old man, that dirty Dunlop shoe man, you, and you won't call your name, but you would know it is you. <laughs> you so much. <laughs> and you'll have to you'll have to go and fix up and come back the next day. He was so good, man. 
So let me ask Mr. Morrison now about um, Mr. Morrison. Yes, ma'am. You and right. you, you, you met Eugene through Trevor or you met Eugene separately? Uh, how did you guys come? Well, we met uh, Police Week. Every island in the Caribbean, they usually have Police Week every year. And the athletes get to travel to all these different islands mm -hmm. for um, track and field meet during police week. So that's where we met and we clicked and we became, it's, it's like a brotherhood. And, and did, you know, did you know that he knew Trevor? Yes, because he came with Trevor. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Tre Trevor was the captain of um, the Grenada team track team police track team you know so i think the last time we were together was actually i came to grenada twice in um, 1989 because i came for police week and then i came back for oecs the invitation yeah track and field yeah eugene you're muted <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i was saying you know yeah but i remember i remember meeting Morrison the first time we were traveling and then Morrison was, we were going somewhere and Morrison was beautifully dressed, you know. And Trevor looked at me and Trevor was like, that's how you have to dress, you know. I was like, man, man. you know what I mean? I'm looking all shabby and Morrison with his suit. I can't and, imagine uh, you being shabby, but go ahead. <laughs> I, so shabby. I come with just a shirt and a pants, not thinking that, you know, Morrison has his jacket and tie, you know. And, you know, that at the time, that was the jacket and tie was the dress. Yeah. I would you know, Look at the athlete, young poly, young man, you know, at that time, jacket and tie was not for me to wear. I just like my shirt, my pants, and I'm rocking and traveling. Like, That's how you have to dress. And I appreciate All right. it. Yes. But um, when you go down in the Caribbean and you hear the name Trevor Modest, Javelin, everybody know that that's yeah. the Javelin champion. Actually, when we used to travel for police week, Everyone else used to have to fight for their trophies. But <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's trophy is sure because nobody, nobody could beat Trevor in Javelin. Absolutely nobody. So we would, we would um, attend these track and field meets and he would already know that he's going to get his gold medal. You know? I, I, I heard that. Um, even um, speaking to Devon, he's saying already, everybody leave Trevor alone. He's yeah. In a, <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was in a class by himself <laughs> when it comes to sure, that job. Sure. Yes. So um, we're, coming, we're coming to the end, up to the end of the second yeah. hour. And I think um, it's been a, a real blast. Um, we do this all the time. Um, I ask Everyone, I don't know if you have any last words you want to say before we close and thank you. Livingston, thank you for um, helping me. <laughs> Although it wasn't well, really like a co-host business, but that's what I intended it to be. <laughs> um, I wasn't very clear, but then I still chipped in a little bit, I guess. Right. So is there anything you'd like to offer Trevor before he leaves, before we end the session? I, I think I um I give Trevor um most of his um his flowers <laughs> already. Um, they, they pass flowers for for somebody flowers for the future now in agriculture, man. Oh God, give me that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me give yes. No, not 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 future. I want his present. Now Trevor is embarking on a project now that would really revolutionize, can revolutionize agriculture. And again, Trevor usually one two. You might make a mistake, but on the third one, you should get it right. I hope that this time, those that have the power would come and join forces with Trevor because he's, he's, he's using a hydrator to help dry up fruits and produce a lot of good quality. For a matter of fact, I've had a chance of sampling one of his products. He, he dry pumpkin, he used mangoes, he used a series of um, all our fruits, everything. And um, he packaged it. And in some places, it is being sold on the local market. Now, that to me does not make a lot of sense as of now. This is the early stage. I, my hope is that, you know, um, the nation would join with Trevor and, and see that as a, a future so that we can export, not just for the local market, 
but to send it in another place. I think he has a really good thing going. He has been at it just like how he was training for the javelin in and out. He's he has been working on those on those projects. So I, I Trevor, I really wish in the near, near future that um that gift you you now possess, that passion you now possess would really revolutionize the agricultural sector and have a place for the Grenadian farmers and all the various wastage that we've been producing that we can shield that. So my brother, um, you have done us well in sports. You actually got an A plus. You have done us well in policing. You actually get an A plus. Um, hopefully the Grammy now come to you in the agriculture sector as it transform that landscape. So thank you for everything, my brother. Thank you, man. And, and, and of course, just final thing with them. Um, and I don't want to say that, but, but you know, you did it my soul there. We, 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 we talk all the time. We've been there all the time. So um, I think first time we've actually been on a program like that. So, well, Eugene, you know, we go, we go old chat another time. So no need to <laughs> say I know you're calling me later, so it's no problem. <laughs> so, Livingston, um, I am going to also agree, uh, you know, you and I talk a lot about agriculture too. And then I saw Trevor's program. Somebody did a program on Trevor's yes. uh, doing now. And I saw his number on the package. Oh. <laughs> that's how I got in touch with him but we, you and I talk a lot too about agriculture and the things that can be developed from what we have and it was such a shame when I came home and I saw Ceylon mango on the ground and we brought two Canadian kids with us they were going wild and the kids were just passing it by these things, I buy mango in packages like what Trevor did here so I had right. this idea and I also sent home those, you know, the very small uh, the humidifiers, what they called? Yeah, humidifiers. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those little wrong ones, because this is something I wanted to develop as well. So I was so excited when I saw Trevor doing it, and I wondered why no, nobody ever talked about that before. Well, there, you know, there is room to collaboration. Absolutely, that's why Trevor and I are friends. <laughs> friends, tell the man we're family man. Tell him, let him, let him know. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Trevor is persevering. Trevor went all around Grenada until we figure out how we're related. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, let me tell you, earlier on, I had a show with Jared Sensier, and they brought in a guest who was Jude Bartholomew, who are also my cousins. So this is becoming like all Grenada. Wow, is that from my yeah. This is going to let the world know how connected we are. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. Morrison, I hope you don't take offense but you might be related to us too. <laughs> well, well, you could say um, I'm from Montgelou. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> In fact, Mr. Morrison, you want to give any roses, flowers, anything to Trevor for being such a, a role, stalwart role model to you? And yes, yes. From the time, from the time we met in Montserrat, you know, I've always looked up to Trevor and uh, he is just one outstanding person, not, not only in sports, but in policing, you know, in, in training. I mean, he was someone to look up to. I knew that all of the Grenadians looked up to him as a leader because most of them were going through retraining. And every one of them looked up to Corporal Modest at that time. And he is just someone good to be around. He's a good role model. I always listen to him. You know, I mean, I could have been a lot further in track and field. But coming from Montserrat, where it was not really on their radar. That's not really something that monstrations really looked up to or whatever, you know, because back in, uh, when I was in high school, my very first track and field meet was in Nevis for Leeward Islands track and field meet. And I played second in the 800 meters. Dale Jones from Antigua won the 800 meters in two minutes, two seconds. <laughs> we were juniors then. 
who were young kids then. He won it in two minutes, two seconds. The following year, Antigua, with that two minutes, two seconds, Antigua had already sent him off for special training. So he wasn't there. Leeward Island's track and field meet was in Antigua. And I won in two minutes, 1.4. <laughs> I just went back home to Montserrat. No training. No hey. special attention. Okay. That's it. You know? So, I mean, my years with Trevor, we used to look forward to um, this police week because, you know, that's when we get to hang out together for a whole week and, you know, we compete and, you know, we eat, we drink, we party. And he's just someone I've looked up to over the years, you know? I know we had a conversation once and I'm like, so um, why you're not further along, you know? And, you know, he was telling me, you know, the usual, you know, it's highly political. It's highly political, and I guess he wasn't into that, into the political whatever, to really get up to. But I mean, to reach um, assistant commissioner, I know he did his thing, you know, fingerprint and photography expert from years and years and years back, you know. So I, I give him his flowers. Thank All the time, you. anytime. Perseverance. Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. had to leave, so he gives his apology. He has a radio program to do. Uh, so, Mr. Eugene Nichols, you were yes. scouted by a student in class. <laughs> what do you have to say? What do you have to give to Mr. Trepmodes, the person that brought you over to SAS, that powerhouse? Uh, Trevor, you know, also brought me to SAS. Uh, one of the was happened that one day I went to, you know, when you're inquisitive, I went to, it was Saturday morning and, you know, we went to meet Trevor because we were supposed to go to the park and Trevor was working in, the, Trevor was working in forensic at the time up there and he was like, I was waiting for him and he was like, they were doing the exams. And he was like, go to the exam, I wait for you. Like, I have work to do before we go to the park. So that's how I ended up going and do the police exams. Ended up in the in the pool. It was everything I did in my life from growing up. Still ended up with Trevor. Starting with Trevor, so oh. I owe a lot, you know. <laughs> Remember Eugene, Eugene? Um, yeah. Livingston, Livingston came to join too, you know. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just yeah. unfortunate yeah. that Livingston didn't get through. <laughs> yeah, we keep it after to do this. So, yeah. as I said, yeah. everything I owe and most of my life development in. You know, it also has to do with Trevor and looking forward. And I, and my heart is my gratitude goes out to everything that he has done for me and for everyone else. That's why you know when I'm able to get to Marston, know everyone, and we can sit here as grown folks and understand and know what we're doing. <laughs> so uh, thank you. But let me say, in terms of living, it, it wasn't unfortunate that Livingston wasn't successful. It was fortunate because Livingston were able to stay and continue. We can do that. Livingston stayed back in fast to develop this rapport with other schools. Because yeah. a police, if he was a police, we would not have seen him. So, yeah. well, what you talking about after school, eh? After oh. we left school. After we left school. There was a special program in the police they call for persons that were at a certain academic level, they call officer cadet. So I was he, my application was not just to join the regular police force, but to go at a senior level. Ah, I see, I see. Because I see. yeah. Oh, I because what I learned from Eugene is that Eugene didn't go, he left in like December. No, Eugene, Eugene, the, the, the time when Eugene became a police, I went to be, I, I went as a teacher, I went, I went, I started teaching. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So it went, uh, years after, after that, right? years yeah, after. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But uh, at that point too, let me just say, when I joined the force, people who was living secondary school were not joining the force. I was the model. They, they used me, the revolution used me as the model to enhance... Yeah people coming from secondary schools to join the force. Yeah. I remember from around 85, it was a Russia high school young man, uh, Montrose, right. about more than 50% yeah. of the Montrose guys went into the police as well. Right. Okay. And it was around that time that I had been I had qualified and I did the first 
fingerprint keys. And that was, man, that was good. Yeah. So, Mr. Uh, Modest, I, let me thank the people who has been here with us first before I give you your roses and your kisses and everything. You're getting it all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for co-hosting with me. Mr. Morrison, thank you for bringing in the, the outside um, experience and the widening our understanding of Trevor. He wasn't just looking out for Grenadian athletes, he was looking out for athletes overall, Caribbean, wherever they are. And so he's not just talking this, we can see it. Eugene, thank you for bringing Mr. Morrison into the picture um, because Trevor would not have talked about these things if you guys weren't here. And now Trevor, from Milton, as a friend, I don't know, I think you were in a men's ministry together? No, we were at, um, yes, Ministry of Information. We were there together. Okay. okay yeah. So from him, thank you. And from me, thank you for being a relative. Thank you for, for letting us figure that out. Thank you for what you've done for SAS, for St. Andrews, for your village, for being a model for people, now being in the police, setting the law and all that down, <laughs> getting, getting things right, making sure Grenada is on its, on its path, young Grenadians have somebody to follow. Um, mostly all of the athletes I know, as you say, are successful. And I would think it's because of the transferable skills they've learned from athleticism and from your influence. Um, thank you for where you've gone so far. I know you had to, you were forced into retirement because of a physical illness. And yeah, um, my time has come afterwards, but I was home for at least a year to two years before <laughs> I actually fully retired. Thank God and thank you for, uh, for recovering to be here now. Now you're starting a new journey. And it's a journey that Grenada needs because we need to be able to utilize our, our local products to feed ourselves and when we have access to feed others. Um, it's, it's, food, it's food security is sustainable into the future. And I hope as much people as possible would, be, would watch this and consider joining with you or somehow helping us come together as Grenadians or as Caribbean people to utilize what we have as opposed to importing things and letting what we have go to waste. I am very, very happy you decided to accept my invitation to come here. And I'm happy you were such a role model to the people I look up to, the people that brought the love and affection in my life. I would not have known about your days but the people that came after you, you made sure you left a legacy behind. And I like the fact of continuation. You always think about who will continue this. And this is how it should be. And I hope in the future, Grenada as a country can recognize the talents you all have and we can use it to help electrify more and more Grenadians as time goes on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye. Good.